Hey everybody, I'm Jake Letarski. You might know me from the Roto-Wire Fantasy Football Podcast or from bringing you college basketball and MMA content here at Roto-Wire year-round. But today we're going to take a look at the MLB draft software here, the OS X version in particular. I'm going to try to do another one for the PC version as well. But uh, we're going to take it from the top with the Mac version of the Fantasy Baseball Draft software. This is for the 2021 version, but it'll apply to uh, most versions here in the future as well. So start here. I'm on the rotowire.com homepage. You can see I'm logged in here with my last name. Um, We're going to go to the MLB section. And then under software here, Windows PC, Mac is what we are looking for in this situation here. So, you know, front and center, we're going to download the software for Mac. You can put it wherever you want here. This is just the installer for it, kind of. Uh, you know, it'll default to downloads. We can do that. And here we go. Dang it, that was quick. So now that this is here, I'm using Chrome as an internet browser. It might vary a little bit on your browser here, but you're going to open the download file that ends up on your computer here. And then you're going to see this window right here. If you're familiar with downloading Mac programs, all you have to do is take the baseball icon and put it into your applications folder. And I believe that has been handled here. So we're going to go ahead and check on Finder here and look for, hey, here we go, Rotowire Baseball 2021. Let's double-click that to get that started here. Um, of course, application downloaded from the Internet. Are you sure you want to open it? Yes, we are. All right, and you can see from this that it's come up in the background. We can close out the applications folder here. This is the initial version of the draft software here. As you can see, software is locked. You can only see the first uh, five players here and then a couple of projections. So uh, we're going to go ahead and unlock this software, which you do with a simple RotoWire login. Now, this does not work when you are on a 10-day free trial. This is one where you have to be a full-on RotoWire subscriber to be able to get uh, all of this data here. So I'll quick unlock this here with my uh, user name and password and boom you have successfully unlocked the software so let's uh, go ahead and you can see here that I can scroll down and we have all sorts of uh, our full set of projections here if you want to look at uh, you know our, our guy Tatis news his outlook um, of course this tab here is for if you want to enter any notes here but let's not get too far ahead of ourselves uh, one thing that we typically want to do um, at the beginning is to uh, is update the player data here so you can see the date I'm doing this January 21st 2021 it's been four days since the data has been uploaded so I'm going to go ahead and download that data what this does it brings in any edits to our outlook so if a player gets traded you know we've got you covered there it brings in any of the latest player news uh, right there um, and as well if Jeff Erickson makes any projections changes we have you covered there as well all right so now we've got the software unlocked we're here ready to go let's jump in to uh, making our draft and this is a this is an area of the Mac soft where people often overlook here you know they open this up and they're like oh where the heck do I put the number of teams or change to an auction or do all sorts of things you want to look right up top here at the menu of your screen here and uh, in this case you want to go with drafts edit draft settings now uh, here's where you'll name the draft here I'm just going to name this roto wire test and uh because of the shortened season in 2020, we have games played by position set to the default of seven games played at that position to get them to qualify. Uh, in most years, the the number is 20. Of course, we have a unique year. If your commissioner is doing um, anything strange or you have any new rules here for the season, um, go ahead and, and um, change the number here. Um, so right here, if you have an NL or an AL only league, you can switch that here. Or, of course, if you have a custom league, um, I don't know, some of my coworkers do uh, AL only plus the Brewers league, you can do that here by just uh, you know checking and unchecking the teams that you want to create in your player pool. But for now, we're going to go with a mixed league draft style. We'll touch on auctions in just a second here, um, but if you want to do a straight draft or a third-round reversal like is common in the NFFC, or if you just want to do a custom, which basically means there's no draft order at all and you just assign players to teams manually however you like you know if uh um, you know we can accommodate traded picks but there are some rare situations in when you want that but the most common is going to be a snake draft here um now 
we're going to get to scoring here. So uh, default rotisserie, a 5x5 five five is uh, here. These are all the scoring categories we offer. Um, if you'd like us to consider a category next year or the year after, you know, we, we every once in a while we'll add a popular request. Just drop us a line at support at rotowire.com. We'll pass your feedback along here uh, for future versions of the software, of course. Now, 5x5, five five, you know, just uh, click any of these um, boxes to add them, factor them into the rankings. Of course, uh, points league two. This is a little bit different. This would be if you wanted to, um, if you wanted to add, if you have specific point values here uh, for these individual categories. Um, but most of these are going to be uh, rotisserie here. Um, head-to-head rotisserie, head-to-head points. To be honest, I don't even know why we have these two options because rot- head-to-head rotisserie and rotisserie are identical. If you're playing head-to-head categories, the scoring and the rankings of players doesn't change at all. If you're playing one person every week or if you're playing the entirety of the league through the entire year, same deal with points. You know, Is your whole league playing you know, are you trying to tally the amount of points or are, uh, or are you playing against an individual every week? The rankings won't change. So rotisserie or points. Um, next we're going to get on over to, uh, Oh geez. So, um, <laughs> I got to get these five by fives in cause I was, cause I was messing around with a point league there anyway. All right. So we've got the five by five categories. Let's move on over to team setup. Here is where you can, um, change the team names, edit the number of teams. I'll make my team Jake. Um, and then, you know, I'll, t- I'll hit enter on my keyboard here, or you can click update team and then you can, you know, you can just run through and, um, and, and name these teams, whatever you want here and hit enter or click update team. You know, here we are. I don't need to do this too much. You can also delete teams. If you have a 10 team league, just, um, boom, take team 12 off, boom, take team 11 off. Here you are. Or of course you can add those teams back in, uh, our stake league, for example, is 16, 17 teams. So we'll add some more on here. I want to touch on this draft, just my team feature as well here. Uh, you can kind of see the description setting this to yes, makes it easier to mark off taken players. Um, we understand that sometimes it's hard to keep track of a lot along with a live draft. You know, we can't sync to drafts because you know these guys have these other sites have their own draft rooms they count on the advertising they count on you guys being in there here and we'd also need specific uh you know information to be able to sync that with that we just don't have so we follow along with these uh these drafts and sometimes some people have found it easier to draft only their team which basically means when you click on a player that's being drafted you you select my team or other team now draft just my team if you turn that on it makes it so it it makes it so you won't be able to use things like our standing and roster composition that we'll get to in the future, you know, features that would be around if you were keeping track of all of the teams here. Um, so just uh, something to keep in mind here. Uh, people that like, you know, it, it's it's easier and faster to assign players and keep up with a live fast paced draft if you use draft just my team. But we're confident if you get a little bit of practice with this, you'll be able to, uh, you know, get this going like normal. Uh, moving on over here, roster settings. You know, we've got our default roster settings here. My leagues tend to use some reserve players. If you use minor league players, um, this is where you set all of that up, corner, middle, any infielder. Um, you know, we've got all of these here for you. Um, I love one catcher, two utility leagues. That's my favorite. But, uh, you know, that's neither here nor there. And then finally, we have display settings here. So when you have hitters up, these are the stats that show. When you have pitchers up, these are the stats that show. You can kind of see. In mixed leagues here, you have five hitting stats, five pitching stats, and um, but when you go to uh, oh, it won't let me do it now until I close it. But when you go to all pitchers or all hitters and you filter the player pool that way, then it'll show these extra ones here. Now, if you wanted to show slugging percentage instead of, or actually, yeah, let's do it. Let's do OPS. Say you want to do one OPS instead of batting average, you would drag batting average up. You drag OPS up and drag batting average down here. So that's one example of how you can do that. You know, if you use seven by seven leagues and want to pick your categories here, or you just value other stats more than others, we offer a lot here uh, in the software for you to look at here. But let's, uh, you know, go back here and we're going to take a look at the main feature here. Um, so, you, so you're here. Here's your main cheat sheet. I like to sort it by available. Um, you know, just cause it makes it easier to filter players a little bit. Um, you've got your team rosters. This is where it'll keep track of your team, but you can also navigate to any of your other teams. Uh, this is the running list that keeps track of the draft. So, Hey, my draft's starting. What do I do? Okay. So first overall, I'm going to go ahead and take Tatis. This screen will come up here. You can change the default position you want them to be at. Um, but for now I'm just going to make him the default bang. He's here on my roster. 
he's here in the running list. And now Peter here is on the clock. Um, he likes Soto a little more than Acuna this year, so that's what he's going to go ahead and do. And uh, as you can see here, you kind of just make your way through the list, and players will get added to these teams. Now, a couple things you can do when you're looking to make your pick. Uh, I'll explain some of these here. Of course, these are just filters for the player list you see below. If you get down to later in a draft and you need a specific position, um, you can go ahead and uh, filter by position as well as hitters or pitchers. 2020 projections, that's the default. That's what we recommend doing. But if you want to look at last year's stats, we have that information here as well. Um, and then let's see here, rankings. I want to mention this real quick. Um, when you click on that, this comes up, uh, for snake drafts, you know, sometimes we understand that you don't always agree with our rankings and want to make changes here. So, uh, you can go to manual rankings here and then go ahead and, uh, filter things a little bit. Like I'm a Brewer fan. I think Christian Yelich is ranked a little bit too low. So I'm going to grab him and I'm going to drag him up, up on the list here. So he's number six now, and then I'm going to hit close and bang showing manual rankings right now if you ever want to go back to our default value rankings just go ahead and give this a spin all right so we've got everything going here i want to show a few more uh, main menu features before we kind of jump into a mock draft here the player list here is what uh, we're looking for um, i'll show you this briefly but this is standings this is how you can keep track of what categories you're good in and what categories you might be a little bit behind in so there's a lot uh, a lot going on here um, this kind of works later on in drafts. You can see the roster composition, who has what, uh, so you can decide what might be scarce. Um, later on in drafts, I like to use the depth chart feature because, you know, say I need a middle infielder and I'm looking through, um, you know, I'm going to look at who's projected to start at second base according to our Rotowire depth charts here. Um, so, you know, you at least get a starter and maybe something happens from that and depth char charts are updated here every time you update the player data here, as you can see. So I'll give that a second to go. Close. Boom. Um, targets. These are category targets here. If you decide the winner of our rotisserie league last year had 300 home runs, you can punch in 300 home runs and it'll give you a difference. I need 260 more home runs. Same thing. Uh, you know, if, if we need 300 wins, I don't know, maybe that's a little bit too much. Let's just say 100 wins. And that'll help you with the pictures. You can always hide this help. This is just a quick description of what happens here. Um, and then last but not least here, we have a prospects tab. Um, this downloads separately from the player data, so you want to give that uh, a spin there. James Anderson does a top 400 fantasy list. It's the best in the business. Check that out if you're subscribed to rotowire.com and are in any kind of dynasty format. The online, the web-based page does a lot more cool things, but uh, if you're in a dynasty league where you're taking prospects, um, this is something that you want to check out here. Um, I will go back to, um, let's just go back to all here, so it'll show you. Um, it'll give you the full list, um, but I have Tatis. We'll run down here his stats. We'll show some minor league stats as well as last year's three-year average when applicable, and then, of course, um, 2021 projections. 2020, these are his games played by position here, um, so that kind of, like, during the start when I was talking about that, this gives you a better idea of where they might be eligible or where they could gain eligibility here. Um, so you have his stats, his latest news, the outlook on Rotowire. And here is if you want to write in any notes. Number one player in fantasy. And there you are. And then that will stay. You can navigate around, but you can always come back and see his notes here. Also, if you want to mark him as a sleeper, well, he's not really a sleeper, but maybe he's the tier one shortstop. You can do it that way. And there are all different color codes on here. So if you want to mark, let's say Tatis is in a, a tier of his own, then we want to put Story, Turner in tier two. The next three guys in tier three. Or let's say, I don't know, I think Javi Baez is going to be a bust this year. You can mark him as a bust, and then you can view sleepers and busts specifically in your list later on, as well as tiers by position. So um, just a little something to get you going here. So I'm going to go back to available. Um, one last thing on snake drafts before I start looking over at auctions is... Uh, the mock draft feature. So this is a fun one. You want to go to mock draft, um, start and resume. This will kind of see where things are at. Uh, we recommend going with value and ADP. It's a mix between our value-based rankings and ADP that we get from the NFFC. Of course, you can sort and get the players by their NFFC ADP here as well. Um, but anyway, here, let's go back to value, or value, and we want to mock draft here. So this is where I'm at. 
great tool for practice early in the season. It mock drafts. It assigns players the teams for you. Um, whoops. There we go. And now we're back. It went all 16 guys back and forth, and now we're back to me. So I'm going to close. I'm going to see who we've got here. We'll just go top. Oh, geez, Tim Anderson. I don't need a shortstop. But Springer, give me some of that. And, man, I could really use a pitcher here. I don't want to wait too long without getting another pitcher. Give me Zach Allen. And we are indeed ready to roll. We'll start and resume the mock draft one more time here. And then it will go. And, I mean, you can do this as long as you want and as many mock drafts as you want, however you want to, um, uh, you know, balance out your team here. This will all update in the running list. You can see that I'm up here. And I mentioned before this helps when you're uh, there, but, oh, geez, I'm at the bottom of the list here, probably because I need to make my fourth pick. But let's see here. We'll go with, oh, boy, let's go with Yastrzemski here. Then we can look at the projected standings. Right here I'm in the middle of the pack, and it'll tell me um, home runs. I have 102 total home runs. That gives me nine rotisserie points. You know, I'm kind of in the middle of the pack. I'm doing pretty good in runs. You know, I don't have any saves yet. Maybe I want to look at that. So, like, oh, geez, I don't have any saves, and it's the fourth round. I want to get a pitcher that is getting saves. Let's see here. Oh, it looks like I need to make it a uh, – oh, there we go. Pitcher saves. I might have taken that on an accident, and you can see you can sort the players by saves. Boom. Give me Josh Hader. We'll go back to the mock draft here, as you can see. And we will let it run. Um, so on, on the draft software here, you can fortunately save multiple drafts, um, all different types here. Uh, just go to draft. Uh, you can open an old draft or go to new draft. We're going to do another custom. These ones that you see here are basically just default settings. It doesn't link to any of these leagues. What it does is it uh, if you pick CBS, it gives you the default settings for a CBS league. Same thing across the board here. I'm going to go custom because we're changing this anyway. Um, what I want to do is an auction league next. Keep these defaults here, 70% spent on hitting. I like to buy the reserves here because that's how that's how our stake league does it. We'll stick to five by five. We'll add some teams. I'll kind of I'll try and I'll make my most popular league on here. Um, here we go. Bang, bang, bang. I'm not going to change the display settings. And here we go. The running list and team rosters. So this runs just like a uh, a regular. You know, a regular snake draft, you pick the player, except the only thing is, is how much did I pay for him? I spent up for Tatis a little bit in this draft, so we're going to go 50 bucks. Boom, he's on my team. You can see that. And you do the same thing for all these players. Double-click them. And they'll be good to go. I'll kind of spend these around. Um, one thing that I want to note here with auction values here is the inflation feature. Now, we recommend this because if people are overpaying for players and there's uh, less money left for the same pool of talent, then, every, then all the other players' prices are going to go down a little bit and vice versa if they're underpaying for players, some of the remaining players' values will go up. This kind of live adjusts the player values based on who's been taken off the board at what price. So you definitely want to update that maybe every 10 picks or so. If you do it every couple of picks, you're not going to see that much of a difference, but every 10, 20 picks will get you there. Um, the last thing that I want to look at here is how to change projections because this is most evident when it comes to auction uh, drafts. So Christian Yelich, Brewers, he's my boy. Going to edit the projections here. And you can see what the Rotowire has, what you have, and then the difference here. Yelich is the man. We're going to bump his home runs by 45. And I don't know. I think he's going to run a little more. I think he'll have a 40-40 season. Bang. I, wanted to, I just want to do something that's going to be noticeable in the difference here because you can see we give him 3366 but once i save these auction values boom he shoots way up so what you can do is you can edit the projections for any players we know you're not going to agree with us on everything but uh it's going to give you a chance to um to really put your own research and change things and use the software uh to your advantage you know the best that you can and it's the same thing here standings it'll keep track of money left and max bid for the other owners that you're looking at um roster composition as well so you can start to see where the scarcity is going to go here um last but not least you know we get asked all the time uh hey i i'm doing this on my work computer you know i'm playing fantasy baseball at work but i want to access it on home how do i change the drafts um if that is the case you want to go to um you know import or export 
Uh, you'll export draft it to RotoWire servers. You want to do current custom one, export it. It'll have you pick it. And then, um, actually, you know what? I'm going to create a new one because this was an old draft I was working on a few days ago. And it'll make sure your username here. So then you create new. Bam, it was saved on the server. So next, I'll do this with a different draft. You can go to import. Once you're logged in at home or wherever you're at, go to import. Import draft from RotoWire server. Here's 2021 drafts. Here are last year's drafts if you have drafts from 2020 um, that you want to go. But, um, you know, I'm going to look at this one from the 18th. Next. I want settings and everything and create new and import. You can also overwrite old drafts if you're working with the same draft. Um, so, boom, draft is imported. Now you can close this and then drafts, open draft. Boom, here are all the different drafts that you have saved um, this year. So that's going to do it. This is the most basic features of the RotoWire Max software. I'll be coming at you with a PC version in a couple days. Hope this was able to help you out, and happy drafting here to everybody.